<laughs> Someone was like, man, why'd you guys add the jet sound effects? Listen. <laughs> Those ain't sound effects. That's not sound effects. That's an 80 millimeter EDF in runner motor, baby. On 6S power. That's what that is. Here we go. I'm holding and preparing to fly one of the coolest jets and biggest jets EDFs that I ever have flown. Even in this wind, my confidence is pretty high to fly it. This is the F-16 80 millimeter by E-Flight. Now, my maiden flight, I just enjoyed so much that I pushed my flight time to about six and a half minutes. And those of you that fly jets, when I just said that, let me say it again, six and a half minutes. Yeah, I shouldn't have flown that long, but I was just having so much fun and I just sucked it dry and I had a pretty hard landing in the grass over there. Okay, let's line it up for a landing. Our wind is coming in from, wow. wow. Are you okay? I feel like I'm- Are you okay? Right now. I'm coming down in the grass right there. Yeah, I feel like I was coming in underpowered for sure. And the only thing that came out rough at all was just a little bit of foam uh, broke off and I just hot glued it back on. If you'd like to know which glue I use for all of my foam planes that seems to work every time, never have any issues, I'll link that in the description box below beside this jet. I'm back to fly again. I told you guys if I would fly it again after that video, I'd let you know in the description box or the comments. I did not. I only got one flight on this, so I need more flights. You'll notice that I don't have any fuel tanks or ordinances on the bottom this time. There are a total of nine you can put on there. So I'm reducing the drag and I'm just hoping for an even more fun flight. Those missiles and fuel tanks look amazing though so nothing against them i just want to fly it once without them and see how it does also uh you'll notice that these puppies here these rails for the wing tip missiles you know they're true to scale but if you really wanted to reduce drag all the way they come off too very easily so i'm just excited to fly but i will tell you this too abby and i are getting off of an adrenaline rush because when i got out of the car and i got the jet out i looked up at our flying space and on this hillside over here right around that bush right i saw there. a very large animal walking through the grass and abby got her phone out to record it and try to zoom in if we could and we got it jumping and when it jumped i realized wow that is either a coyote a fox maybe but probably too light collared and too big to be a fox could be a bobcat but we saw a tail so it's very likely it could be a mountain lion my entire life i've never seen in this area a bobcat or a mountain lion but they are known to exist as well as some small black bears I've, i have actually seen a couple small black bears but i've never seen a bobcat firsthand in this area or a mountain lion but we think that it was a mountain lion so abby she got the drone out really quickly because we do come up here and play as a family, right? With a two and a half year old baby girl. And so we would need to know for safety's sake, what was that animal, right? If it was a house cat, we have no need to worry. <laughs> but we're pretty sure as you guys are watching this footage right now, that ain't no it was fast house cat you guys i had that drone in sport mode and it outran it was like outrunning me now, we i don't know what it was though we have to go back and look at the footage and obviously we're very there i told abby you know, i was like it. panicking she, she <laughs> well, i wish you guys could have heard her <laughs> audio but um obviously we're very respectful of all uh creatures and nature you know we weren't there to scare the animal although it's going to be scared of adrian they're loud you know but we needed and to i know. got over it at one point because it stopped to look at me so i i jumped up really fast and backed up away from it yeah like we I wanted to did my best but i actually, really wanted to know what it was not actually scare it but we really needed to know what that was so and i chased it into the brush uh you guys let us know your thoughts what, what do you think that? that animal was while we're uh, enjoying this second flight of this f-16 jet which is amazing uh we're really coming off that natural high I'm adrenaline like, i'm like looking up at the hill like i know i want to see it, back. it to come back and kill me wow i'm so scared so let's fly this jet <laughs> All 
All right, now who's looking back on that ridge for the mountain lion? Who's looking at the jet? <laughs> I'm looking at both. <laughs> We're clear for takeoff. There's a lot to love about this jet. There's not much love going for this 10 mile an hour perfect cross breeze right now, gusting of uh, who knows, 15, 16 miles an hour probably. I'm excited. Let's go. Tried to get that a little smoother, but I also wanted to pick up pretty quick because of the wind. Here we go. This is going to be a much shorter flight today. We're going to shoot for about a three and a half to four minute flight. <laughs> get that landing gear up on the next pass. You guys can see that gusty, floppy, nasty, bursting kind of wind. Ugh. But the jet's handling it very well and it sounds amazing. Let's put the landing gear up and blast by. Here we go. Yeah, we'll do that again. Let you guys hear it in case you missed the maiden. So on Horizons or E-Flight, however you want to look at it, their promotional video, someone was like, man, why'd you guys add the jet sound effects? Listen. <laughs> Those ain't sound effects. That's not sound effects. That's an 80 millimeter EDF in runner motor, baby, on 6S power. That's what that is. Here we go. Kicking so far, we're going to climb. Sorry about that, son. I'll do it on the other side. Wow. That sounds so real. It just sounds real. I love this jet, which is why it came down hard. Look at this. We can just climb and roll and climb. And climb and I lost and roll and you. Climb and roll. And there we are, falling dead stick, rolling and dropping I'm down. Just here we go. Filming a blue sky That's right okay. now. That's okay. Safe zone. I'm just going to kind of cruise here for Abby. There we go. I uh, unfairly just kind of blasted up into the sky and didn't tell Abby what was going on. So. <laughs> These things are fast. Oh, it's fast. This one is amazing. It's their best F-16 they've put out, in my opinion. Oh man, and the lights. The lights are the brightest they have on anything, so I can actually see the lights. By the way, I like doing a little bit of rudder, rudder input on my banks. Here we go. We're gonna climb again, Abby. You ready? Okay, yeah. Three, two, one, blast off! And then we roll it. We can just kill that throttle, kind of do a little bit of a crazy maneuver, and then we'll pull up. I hate the wind. Oh, I hate the wind. Uh, uh. And we're going to roll it. We're rolling. Nice, fast roll. It feels good. Because the sun's over there, I turn safe on. Uh, sunglasses and a hat help, but the sun's still bright, and I love safe. Here we go with the wind. We're going to roll it. Left roll, right roll, climb, loop. Actually, cubinate. And another high alpha maneuver. Did you guys know that the F-16 is one of the highest G-force producing jets ever? Like Why are you a, talking like this? Because I feel so cool <laughs> while I'm flying this jet. Why not? Now, when you fly something like this, don't you think that your voice sounds like that and that you are in a Top Gun movie? It hey, is so awesome. You're 15 seconds from three and a half minutes. Oh, are you serious? Yes. Ah, technology. Come on. Come on, Tesla. Make an infinite battery. That's what we want. An <laughs> infinite battery. Okay. Landing gear coming down. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I heard it. Do we see three? I see three. Okay. Or IC5. IC5 connector. Ah, IC2. <laughs> <laughs> Who Spe didn't get that joke? Spectrum joke, you guys. That's, that might be the world's first spectrum oh, joke. Oh, sorry. Sorry, okay. sorry, sorry, guys. All right. This is not going to be super fun to land. This cross breeze is nasty. And let's see if I can make it look any better than Bobcat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was let's not see. funny. I'm kidding. Don't. Let's see if I Dude. can. Here it comes. Landing. Yeah, focus. the landing Everybody just got focus. ruined. <laughs> Can I make it look better than the last landing, which was an emergency landing in the grass? Oh, I think I can, but oh, it's going to oh, be... Oh, it picked up. Yeah, the wind. Oh, oh, oh nice. Into the grass. Oh, oh, my... no Listen, I had a lot of speed <laughs> up, and I was trying to keep it out of the grass. That That's wind picked off. up right at the last minute. The wind was just like, poof. <laughs> but I'm happy with that. <laughs> Thank you.
someone had a question about the landing gear, uh, suggesting it was plastic. It is not, that's all metal. So that's why it didn't break on that emergency landing on the maiden video. So I just wanted to point that out. Like, if you guys have questions about stuff, you know, let us know. I'll do my do my best to answer. Uh, a lot of people wondered why didn't the telemetry work? At least I mean it, it did work. You know, I can let's see how much juice I have left actually. The telemetry is working just fine. And I'm currently sitting at 3.78, now up to 3.79 volts per cell. And so that's very good time to land. I still probably could have flown for another minute and really been okay, but let's not push it, right? So right around four minutes is where you need to consider landing. Uh, the alarm though, the low voltage cutoff alarm, or not cutoff, but just the alarm to say, hey, your battery's getting low, it's time to land, isn't set high enough right now on this jet. I need to set that a bit higher, don't I? And that's why it came in like it did. Plus, I just flew the Draco, and the Draco flies for like 20 minutes on one of these batteries, and then I'm just thinking how much fun this is, and I didn't consider battery for some reason. <laughs> Been flying for eight, almost nine years straight. Noob. And I just forgot these things can die, so that's why it came down. But this is a blast. I hope you guys realize that it is amazing. If you're a fan of any EDF, you need one of these. And I know it's a little bit expensive, but save up for it, right? It's it's worth it. This is the level of detail, the lights. It's just a head turner. It looks amazing. It flies amazing. It's very durable. Anything in between a 4,000 and 7,000 milliamp battery. And there's just nothing in the world that could allow me to recommend any other battery than a Spectrum Smart Battery. They don't just have technology packed in, but they perform extremely well too, very well, especially these Gen 2 without a balance lead. That's awesome. Today when I were in a hurry to get out of the house, I literally just plugged the battery into my Gen 2 charger using this Gen 2 battery, and I just turned around and walked away and it started charging by itself. It just doesn't get any better than that. So while we're talking about all these things, these cool things that you want to have to make the RC hobby more fun and more cool and exciting, the thing that allows us all to do that is AMA, the Academy of Model Aeronautics. Don't go flying your park flyers or your jets or your helicopters, drones, without it. And they actually work for RC cars and trucks too. So if you're like us and you drive big giant fifth scale outcasts, you need the Academy of Model Aeronautics. It's just a big old relief to have it. It's awesome. And it's the cost of about a battery, at least a battery for one of these. So, you know, you really need to have that, in my opinion. We'll have it linked in the description box below. Let us know if you joined or rejoined because of us. Do you like the magazines? We do. They're a lot of fun to read when you're taking care of business. We all take care of business in many different ways. Good read. We'll have it all linked down there. Guys, life is fun, it's short, and it can be even shorter due to Bobcats sometimes. <laughs> and so for today and just getting to get out and have fun as a family, I thank God. And I also wanna thank our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do our channel without you guys. You're the true backbone to our channel and everything that we do, we wouldn't have the size of channel that we have now, if not for you guys having our backs. So we are forever grateful. We thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll have our maiden flight of this awesome jet. The one that I keep referring to where I came down hard, popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.